Okay, I'm going to be doing a couple unboxings here. The first one is from Steve Thornberry, a guy who I've dealt with for many years. It's a rather small one. Sometimes I get big ones from him, sometimes smaller. It just depends. There's a Bronco, and this thing is in beautiful shape. Steve does a lot of blister pulls, and this may have been one of them. But yeah, that, this will not be touched. It is going up on the shelf. You can see the base is really shiny. If I did anything to it, it would be changing those wheels, because they just look too small. They're not, not a bad-looking tire, though. And there's a nice old Lesney. The green variant. I can't remember if I have this one or not, which is probably why I bought it. I'm sure it was a good deal. That's the way Steve is. It's a great guy. If you ever get a chance to go to SNS Diecast on Facebook, he's one of the S's with my other friend Scott, who I uh, showed you before. They have a lot of good people over there. That one needs some cleaning. Yeah, I don't know. I may restore this one. I got a paint that's similar. And then again, I may just customize it. There's just a Matchbox Blade. That's Range Rover. I just kind of like it. It's in great shape. Like I said, he'd probably another blister pull. Land Rover, sorry. Everything is there. Really nice one there. This one I can't remember if I got for Steve or if I just accidentally put it in the box. But um, I've been trying to get some beater scramblers because my father had a scrambler and I'm going to do one of them up like his old one. I got the wheels for it the other day, so this one's got pretty nice wheels. And, uh, and base is decent. Let's see what I, what I do with that one. Well, this is just a Cougar. I got a plan for a big Cougar build. Um, much like the Corvette bill, which you may have heard me, may or may not have heard me talk about. So oddly, until just now, I didn't even notice there's a person in there. But, uh, that'll be a Cougar, and that is a... Yeah, it just says Mercury, but it's a Cougar. And... Sitting here in kind of the dark. I'm not sure what brand that is. It might be Play Art or something. Here's one I love. 300ZX. That's just sharp. Mirrors got the fast one wheels. Doors do open on it. That's another one won't be touched. And you can see in that interior, it even looks like it has red carpet with the black, which is nice. Love that car. And here's one for the giant Corvette build off, which I'm gonna put a little bit more about that. I'm starting it. A little bit more about that at the end of the video. This is one, um, right now what I do on these vets is I get them and then I keep the best, the one in the best shape that's original. If they're all beat up by then, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, sometimes if I just don't like it, or if I can only find one or know I can find another one such as this one, it may just get stripped because I think I've got like four of this one. You know, it's got the fast ones, gold hubs, good metal base. Uh, got those damn domed rivets, so those are a pain in the butt. You got to grind those off or whatnot. I tried just using the center punch, which you can see over here, and it I 
never get it centered. So, okay, there's that one. This is one I got. Uh, I liked it. Looks like it needs it needs some love. You know, I've, it's gonna it's got opening doors. It's definitely gonna be redone. Uh, I really need to not sit in the dark when I'm doing this, but it's called the Sun Burner. Which, yeah, it looks like it's made off of a Pantera or Ferrari or something along those lines. Windshield needs pretty shined up. It's pretty rough. Oh, trailer hitch, which I don't mind trailer hitches. They, as a kid, they always added something to the cars. A lot of people like to cry about them. Well, cry away. Because this will have a trailer hitch. And then last but not least... I love Greenlight Hollywood, and I love the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, Talladega Nights, if you will. That's got the, the cougar in it. It's got his car. It's just pretty. One of my favorites. There's the back. You know, I've got some good pictures in there. If I wasn't getting glare off of the window behind me. Yeah, I love Green Lights Hollywood. And Steve had this at a good price, obviously, and picked it up. Um, I can't remember what the prices were, but I know Steve, he, he's, he's always got some good deals. Uh, okay. Uh, grab another box, and I'll be right back. Okay, these are from Frank Brown of uh, Quincy Magoo's School for 164th scale drivers pizza planet i love toy story one of one of these even got the yo on the back little dude on the front i wonder if it's got the toolbox in there i haven't looked and that's just a neat truck i wouldn't mind getting one to have it loose but when i like the artwork on a truck it stays and i like the artwork on this so let me view of the back you know, just the usual BS that nobody cares about. It's a nice Toy Story picture, though. Big size. Set you know, that over to the side. Okay, now this one. Frank went and found this for me. Because this is going to be part of the Three Blind Mice build. Uh, special paint? Yeah, it's going to have special paint. And I like this one because it's got some neat, nice tires with some riding on them. Um, Holly, the Hot Wheels Classics, these are cheap. Um, you know, they just aren't, they aren't what they wanted them to be. But they got all 30 on there. There's some other ones I wouldn't mind getting. Oh, it's Corvette. But, well, oh, Mustang funny car, too. Mach 1. Yeah, there's some nice ones on there. But, that will be whatever I decide to do with it in on the three blind mice build that's a couple months off i got working on the other one now it's in the stripper as we speak it'll be out probably shortly after this video okay there's it first opening hood i like hearse i like this car so i bought it Frank also has some pretty good deals. Another Facebook group. Uh, he does live sales and he does the other sales. Uh, his auctions and just he'll set them on his thing like that and give me three bucks. For the first person. You know, why not? Frank's the guy I buy a lot from. Here's the doozy. I have the red line with the top. Couple of little black ones without the top. I've actually got one taken apart that one day I'm gonna do something with. Um, I got this one because it had the top and it was a good price, but it needs needs a bath. Which I'll probably put it in the in the cleaner here and see what happens. The only problem with putting a whole car in the cleaner is sometimes it acts as a rust, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, well this one's not gonna fit on there. 
it's nice corgi off from taxi i've got a smaller version of this with the old wheels this one's got the more of a whiz wheel um a broken bumper there i can probably fix that doesn't have the jeweled headlights but this will be fixed up i'm going to do them both uh some way i've got a plan uh, suicide doors that open i got a plan, but haven't haven't started on it yet. It's on the list. I got the other one. Um, so here's a, uh, what is a transition. Got most of the, the scaffolding in it. Nice base. You can see the transition pieces there. Like that one. And lo and behold, look, another Corvette. Anybody who lives in shop. I've got several of these coming. And what's already here. I've got probably 15 or 16 here. Might be up to 17. I can't remember. But they've got to go. Uh, got a big thing coming up. Like I said, I'm going to try and do a couple at a time. I thought about doing them all at once. But that's going to take forever. And you got a little bit rougher of a base. Got your gold wheels. And this is a Husky. This one needs some work. I gotta find some parts, possibly. Don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with it. Need to do some more research on it. But you know, plastic base. All Huskies had a plastic base. with the red one it's a yellow one I like that one it's also got the opening doors the fast ones wheels I can't remember if it's fast wheel fast ones or faster never but whatever they had the gold wheels that's it metal base I don't get the people getting upset about the cars with the plastic bases because chances are whatever car you drive now has a plastic it has mostly plastic anyway and that's your real car. Why are you worried about a 99 cent car? And here's the Griswolds. Got the honky lips on there. Crooked license plate. This isn't the one with grandma on top. So this is before they went to Arizona. I think there's three versions of this. This is the only one I have loose. I've got another one. Uh, the first one that still has the hubcaps before they went to East St. Louis. Which I have been through many times by the way. And that's terrible city to drive through but um this one here is after that and before arizona probably about the time they hit dodge city that's probably the space right there where the luggage fell off if you've seen the movie if you haven't um, i don't know where you've been and this one i don't really know why i bought it. i like it you know i like the shape i really could care less about the color scheme was probably falling asleep, saw it, and thought it was a corgi. Not paying attention. It's Krispy Kremes. It's a uh, Lido. Which, you know, he's, this is the guy who came from Matchbox. Lido, the name is just Odell backwards. So I don't know what will happen with that one. I'll have to wait and see. And there is yet another Scrambler. You know, one of these is going to be like my dad's. Uh, like I said, uh, the other ones will be done up in other ways. Um, or they'll just be left to sit in the, in the parts box until I find something to do with them. Somebody one day will do a Jeep build off or something. And I'll have plenty of scramblers to do. Any cost. Thing is, I need. Like, the white wheels are perfect for his, but I need more spoke. He had the white spoke wheels on his. Aftermarket, of course. There's a matchbox. Little uh, trailer. I'm actually looking for one without this front part. Because I got the cab. I got three or four of these. I got this one because it had all the wheels. I'm in pretty good shape. 
Okay, there's that. I got that. In, this was my backup. If uh, the Hummer won for three blind mice, um, I'm going to hang on to it. Um, worst case, I'll keep it. Time Rider, when his time comes up, decides to do the Hummer. There it is, right there. I found it. Okay, this one I have. Yeah, but I probably will. I actually had this at one point. I got it out of Australia the first time. That's a Mach 1. It was a mail off of some kind. I can't remember what for. Um, I like the Mach 1s. They came out. Um, they're all on the stupid back. Right, on it. Okay, this is just photos in here somewhere. Uh, I just like it. Don't think they're Johnny's. He's missing a headlight there, which is fine. I got, I can fix that in the box. So I don't remember it missing it when I opened the box, but there we go. And I bought some red lines off of me. Had to, I came to him out of his house. He said ten bucks. I tied out. we'll do something with that sun is really just coming down right in the way and here's another one another nice oldie I like the paint job on this the paint job on that is great that's one I won't be touching any of these older ones at this point because they're all in pretty good shape We'll give them a good bath, but that's about it. So I don't think that one, yeah, that one just the doors open. Yeah. And Jaguar. Hood on the up. On it. That's part of the Jaguar build off. I will be doing that one. I got a, I'm working on collecting Jags right now. Different different types. Here's one. I don't know why I got this one. I don't know if it was part of a grouping or I just decided I wanted it that day or what. It does have the door. It is in really good shape. So that'll go somewhere. Probably in my collection. Here's another one of those I got for ten dollars. Thunderbird. It's got the hood. And the hood kind of goes a little bit far, but it has no tires, which is not a problem because I have a lot of tires. And if not, I get them from uh, Keith at Outlaw Speed Shop. He sells them on his website. I'll pick them up from him. Support a yellow YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, yellow, fellow YouTuber. It's all there. It was root beer. I, these red lines will be done at some point. I just don't know when. Here's the other one. I like my Firebird. That one looks chrome. I like my Firebird. This one, I'm not sure if it was ever painted or it was chromed. It had cap wheels. So it may have just been chrome. If it was chrome, it will not be chrome eventually. I do have some caps, so that can be easily fixed. Got some interested kitties here. There's Scout and there's Thatcher. Thatcher's looking gray today. Sometimes he looks purple. Yes, purple. And Scout's just a pig. And here's another red line. It's one of the race cars. I love these 
little racers. Got all the wheels. And caps, I believe. Indie Eagle is what's this called. Um, what I'll, it will be restored. Don't know what color yet. I'll figure that out whenever I go. Okay, now this one's interesting because apparently at some point the kid lost the tire. It's in pretty good shape. But dad made some new tires. So guess how that one's going to stay. I'm not doing anything to it. It's in good enough shape. Got the driver. And the tires are just interesting because they're, they're nothing more than a cap. They come right. Just a little cap. I think uh, put them on screws or something. And they will definitely go on there. And I'm going to keep that because that's part of something that I like about them. Somebody whined enough to his dad to make him clean. There's one. That's a sharp one. I like that color. That's a good hood ornament here. Hood opens up. Doors open up. I believe that's an old Ford. 57. Has to be a Ford. That's not a Chevy. Yeah, I wear a Chevy. I have a cat named Chevy. If the Corvette's in the Chev cat named Chevy, you'd think I was a Chevy fan. I am not particularly. I like Fords, but Chevy came with a name, more or less. It's an interesting little truck. I picked it up because I hadn't seen it before. And I like it. Um, it'll get cleaned up and then I'll make a determination what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah. Let's see what's in play here from the mud down. Okay, let me twist that. What is that? A Corgi Junior? some kind. I think it's a Cooper. Another Hummer. Um, when, whenever I get a build off that has one, I'll decide which one I like the best and the other one I'll get stripped or which one I have two of. And that, you know, this one's kind of goofy looking. The red windows kind of take it away from being a army vehicle but it could make it something else a little bit more interesting okay that's a uh, nice gas pump set of gas pumps Empty gas station. Um, I'll find the light for it, paint her up, and it'll be that. Okay. Now here's one that's going to be redone. Uh, this is kid painted, so when it's redone, it will be the dark, I think it's a, like a midnight blue. It'll have the silver streak in the top of it. I'm not sure what he was trying to do here. He's trying to put a hole in there, or is that just the way it came out? There is no indent indentation. Um, as with most of them, you can hear the scoops in there. There's the base. Yeah. And the tires. Now, here's another one of those. I, I really do like this car. I hadn't seen this one before. The Meat Streeter. It's like the last one was a meat streeter. I like that. That's going straight on the shelf right after this video because I have my meat streeters up on my shelf. I like it. Got the chrome on the top. Just looks good. Metal base.
Nice motorcycle. Just liked it. Kind of got a set of rope hangers and whatnot. Really like it. This was a good deal. I remember this one. It's got a broken handlebar. That's been proven it can be fixed. Plus, I think I have another handlebar anyway. Because I bought a parts one that really has nothing left to it. Old Lesney Matchbox. Sidecar. Another one. I've wanted one of these for a while. I just, I can never find it for the price I want. At least all the price I want. So I got it. Yeah, yeah, that's the play art tag wire that'll be put with the Jags. By the way, none of the I don't know why they had this insistence on making these red. They're not going to be red when I'm done with them. I am looking for a specific paint, which I'm willing to bet you can guess what color it is. That will be what it, it will be that color. Um, it's got a broken windshield. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. Figure it out. You know, I've seen many ways you can replace a broken windshield. There's another Nash. Um, I had a couple of these. I don't remember having the light blue slide, which is why I got it. This one's missing the trailer hitch. I'll take it you're supposed to. Paint's a little chipped. Um, these do up really nice and make a nice two tone. If you'd like to do that, which I do. Um, my chrome my metal base, pretty tarnished. A little bit of soak, and that'll be good. Well, let's see what else we got. Okay, I got this for whenever I finally get my bench done. Because I do have a dry erase board. Send me that. That's going to look cool out there. Okay, here. I love these little books. I always pick them up whenever I see them at a good price. Yeah. Right. So thick. They got. What I do with them is I go through some, whenever I can't. Of course, I can't get the one that doesn't have a picture. Are you serious? All they're doing is showing the damn. Well, in here they normally have pictures of the Beatles. There, there. Yeah, you just look at it. See what you might like to do with them. Yeah, my mom wants me to do one of hers. Hers, she got a newer one. About two years old now, but. She wants me to do one of hers and eventually I'll find one. Let's see what else we got in here. And I got some goofy plates for SmackDown and WWF. I think these go on rings or something. <coughs> Not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Figure it out. Completely out of the sun. There's Finn Balor. If anybody's into wrestling, there's Finn Balor. Oh, that's what you wanted to see the cat brush. There's Eddie Guerrero. It's the Undertaker. And everybody's favorite Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. A lot of people don't. I really don't care what the sheep think. I like them. And I got a Batman. Um, this is 
the DC guys, if you ever see me unboxing them, they're for a project that I eventually will get finished. Um, been working on it for a while, so don't count on it anytime soon. And there was also an extra bumper. Which, those always come in handy. Okay, and that's about it from Frank. Um, everything else I've gotten has pretty much been from just eBay sellers. I got a couple of interesting ones that I'm going to do some stuff with. I bought a couple of parts cars. Um, I got some good stuff for Christmas towards working on it. Working on cars. They're going to be soon. The desk will be coming soon. And uh, the desk. The bench will be coming soon. And well, everybody, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And go check out Frank and Steve at their sites SMS Diecast on Facebook and Quincy Magoo's School for 164th Drivers. That's where you'll find Frank, both on Facebook. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great day.